Good evening to you guys. Good morning, good afternoon from wherever you guys are watching this video. I am back again with another video for you guys because it's a word from God that he gave me to give to y'all. It's just one that he really wanted you guys to be encouraged and to help you to give you something to look forward to, to help you to press on. God really is in the mode of encouraging. He's really right now in the mode of encouraging you guys, in the mode of really helping you guys understand that he is there in your midst and he is fighting for you and he is doing it for you he is establishing things for you even though it doesn't feel like it or it doesn't look like it and your situation kind of looks like the opposite I always say this but even though your situation looks opposite of what God says it doesn't mean that what God says is a lie because God does not lie his word does not fall to the ground his word is true so if God has spoken something over your life and what God has spoken over your life is what it is what he said is God spoke the earth into existence and it was and it is and it will be. And so what God has spoken over your life, it will happen, it will come to pass. And so I'm gonna read you guys this word, but I also first wanna pray and just invite the Holy Spirit, say what he wants to say and do what he wants to do. Lord, I thank you, God, you are an awesome, awesome and amazing God. Lord Jesus, I just thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you for everything, favor. I thank you for grace, mercy and love. I thank you for your love. I thank you that you are are doing it for us Lord Jesus though we can't see what is happening see what is occurring in the spirit right now we can't see what you are doing for us on our behalf some of us are confused some of us feel lost and stuck but Lord God help us to understand and help your children to understand that they are on the brink of something huge and Lord God that everything else that they have gone through Lord God is going to be used for their good Lord Jesus I speak Romans 8 28 over them now in the name of Jesus oh Father God that all things will work together for their good that every single thing the enemy has tried to throw at them that every single feeling of discouragement every single feeling of negativity every single feeling of depression every feeling of confusion and fear and anxiety I just come against those now and i speak peace into their minds let this message from you holy spirit be peace to their spirits and their mind let it give them a peace and knowing that you are fighting you fight for your children and in this season you are going to fight for us and you will bring to pass what you have spoken over us and we will see it in the land of the living we will see your goodness in the land of the living i pray that you cover us now i pray lord god that every single demonic spirit every single demonic attack that has come and gone forward ahead of the making of this video to plant traps to plant distractions and all types of negative demonic things lord god to hinder this message that you have for your children to get out from getting out i rebuke it in the name of jesus and it is rendered powerless by the blood of jesus now in jesus name i pray that you would decrease me and increase you in your spirit and that you would speak the words that you would want me to speak lord god it would be none of me none of me but all of you now in jesus name i pray amen I I'm going to get into this, read it right now to you, okay? I'm doing it for you. What was once impossible will be made possible. You must connect to me, says God, for it is through the power I put inside of you through the Holy Spirit that the impossible will be unlocked. So your connection to God through the Holy Spirit, your connection to God is what activates the Holy Spirit in you. And that is what will begin to unlock things for you in your life, your connection to God. Because the Holy Spirit is the key to the keys that you need to unlock what God has for you. It is through the power I put inside of you that the impossible will be unlocked for you. The impossible thing will unlock itself and open, give you access to the possibilities it will open you up it will open you and your life up to the possibilities that occur within my kingdom 
as my child, says the Lord God. So I've said this phrase before, but in our realm of impossibilities, the thing that we feel or think are impossible, through the Holy Spirit and through your connection to him, he pulls you into his realm of possibilities, which is his kingdom. God's kingdom is the realm of possibility. As my child, worldly impossibilities are no match for my omnipotent power, grace, mercy, and love that I have poured out over you, my children. Holy Spirit said, I love you and it's time to unlock. I have given you keys to my kingdom, so use them and you will see all I have done for you in the realm of my possibilities. You will see all that the Lord has established for you and is establishing for you. Because I know right now you're in the realm of impossibility. So you're in a situation where you feel like things are impossible, where you feel like even the very words God has spoken over your life, promises that he has for you, you feel like the promised land for you is basically impossible. That's how you feel. But God is saying to you I have given you the keys so use them and you will see all I have done for you in the realm of my possibilities my daughters and son you will receive so what is God saying here you will receive when you use the keys when you utilize the keys what are the keys we're gonna get there in a one one second I'm gonna tell you because the Holy Spirit ministered to me what these keys were so the, these keys that God was talking to me about he's been talking about keys a lot in the last couple of weeks keys in the spirit these keys are what we need to unlock the doors that we are literally standing in front of we have doors in front of us and we need to unlock those doors but God has given us keys to unlock those doors so we're standing in front of the door but the door has not yet been unlocked it's almost like the key is inside the door, but you have to turn it in order to open it. But you're just standing there and you are not utilizing the key for what the keys are used for to open the door. He gave me keys, right? Because I was like, okay, what are these keys, Lord? Be specific. These keys are obedience, faith, connection, worship, praise, prayer, and love. These are keys. Jesus said, above all else, love is the most important law. Because God loved you, first loved you, and so through the Holy Spirit, you should have that spirit of love in you. What does that mean? Love your brother and your sister. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. Love your neighbor. Sometimes we don't really understand how important it is that we do this because we have people in our lives that we just say, oh, we don't like this person or we don't like that person. And you really need to understand God's love in order to understand the type of love that is a key. Love can be a key to your freedom to free you from the bondage that unforgiveness brings. It keeps you bound up because unforgiveness can fester inside your heart because out of the heart flow the issues of life. So when somebody does you wrong and you don't allow God to help you through the process of forgiveness, you're gonna have some problems and you're gonna be tied up and bound up and not be able to move forward. So you're gonna continue to have that feeling of, I can't move, I'm not moving, why am I not going anywhere? And you need to not um, have anything in you that the devil can utilize in order to tarnish or ruin whatever God has for you. What God has for you is pure and holy because it's from him. If you're not able to love, the whole purpose behind God saving you is for you to save others. But if you, how can you save others if you don't want to even save yourself? If you can't forgive somebody, unforgiveness and all those things, when somebody doesn't have love in their heart and stuff like that, it can cause a lot of bitterness. You can become bitter. You can become bitter and like, for example, say if your friend backstabs you, which I've experienced all these things, right? Your friend backstabs you or your boyfriend cheats on you and then you become bitter and you 
place a general blanket statement over no new friends you don't trust men anymore because this person did this to you and all these things and god won't be able to bring anything new into your life until you allow him to teach you how to love i don't know that was for somebody until you allow god to teach you how to love the correct way to love until you allow god to teach you what it means to forgive truly because the forgiveness is not we know i know maybe some of you have heard this before but the forgiveness is not for that person okay the forgiveness is for you to truly and sincerely not just say that you forgive them but if you were to see that person in front of you you would say to them i forgive you because it is not them that did the thing but the spirit behind them and the key connection is important also because the connection is what will lead you into God being able to teach you and show you and help you and make it a little bit easier in order to forgive in order to let go of certain things because when you hold on to those things you give God no room to put anything new or bring any one new or anything new into your life okay so the keys are worship prayer praise love faith connection and obedience and these are all keys we have access to through the holy spirit when god had mentioned he said you must connect to me for it is through the power that i put inside the holy spirit see because the holy spirit is what unlocks doors it's what activates these keys it's what turns these keys to open the doors and the holy spirit needs to be activated that's why he's saying you must connect to me so for those of you that feel like you don't have these keys or that nothing is unlocking or moving for you some of you might need to get into that connect or reconnect to god because it's time it's time he's saying to reconnect to him or connect to him so that you can begin to or he can begin to establish these things and unlock these doors to the things that he has called you to or is calling you to the keys you know worship prayer praise are all these things are accessible through god and the holy spirit understand that you have the holy spirit inside of you if some of you were not aware of that before be aware of it now all you need to do to activate these the spirit in you so that god can give you the keys not only give you the keys but instruction on how to use these keys and go into deeper depth of how important these things are to you how to use them and how to go about utilizing them you need to connect to him and i know i say this all the time and it's like a broken record but connection in this season is very 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 important and when you are utilizing these keys you are walking in the spirit because that is something that is important putting on the whole armor of god i will put the scripture in putting on the whole armor of god is important for you as a child of god because you need protection from the enemy because the enemy is going to be fighting you and the enemy probably might even be fighting you right now because the situation that you're in right now feels like you feel trapped you feel like you're not moving forward anywhere and so all of these things are enveloped within the holy spirit and god is the one who will give you the knowledge and the wisdom on how to utilize these keys because he wants you to understand that he is doing it for you what does he mean when he's doing it for you it means he is making that impossible situation that you're in that you feel like you can't get out of he is working on your behalf and fighting on your behalf to get you out of it but he needs you to help him a little bit he needs you to meet him halfway he's given you the spirit to help you he's given you the spirit to help him help you and i asked him what was a scripture that i could use to kind of give an example of the utilization of the keys and he gave me psalms 42 we know david had the keys david was a worshiper he prayed he was a worshiper david was always continuously connected to god which is why david won all the battles that he ever entered into he won them all he was connected to god no matter what happened no matter if he made a mistake in his life but no matter what happened david just was a winner all the time because why he was connected so he was continually unlocking doors to success unlocking doors to favor unlocking doors to just being a winner to winning 
unlocking doors. He just was continually unlocking doors throughout his life. So I'm going to read the scripture. It says, As a deer pants for the streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for you, for the living God. This is posture. This is posture. This is, David had the posture of the spirit his spiritual posture was always facing god always seeking god first always talking and praying and worshiping and praising god okay i want you to understand that he said when can i go and meet with god my tears have been my food day and night while people say to me all day long where is your god these things i remember as i pour out my soul how I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the mighty one. I just want to backtrack for a second because I want you to understand in verse 3 when he says, when can I go and meet with God? He's talking about when can he go and connect saying, this is how you need to be. You need to have a uh, hunger, thirst as my soul pants for you you need to have a wanting you need to want god wants you to want him he wants you to want to go into fellowship into the secret place he wants you to go into commune with him right he wants you to come into him he wants you to spend quiet time with him he wants you to spend time with him and be with him because it is in those moments when he begins to show you and give you wisdom and knowledge on the keys and what i was talking about when things can become unlocked can gain knowledge and then he says things these things i remember when people say to you all day long where is your god or when people try to discourage you he remembers the goodness of god how he used to go to the house or how he used to go to god and dwell in him in his protection and god would protect him like i was saying his life was always a success because of god okay he used to go with shouts of joy and praise which was one of the keys and festive song why my soul are you downcast why so disturbed within me put your hope in god for i will yet praise him my savior and my god there's praise again the key why my soul are you downcast don't trip sometimes you have to stop and say to yourself sometimes i say Bianca, why are you even tripping for you know god got you. you know you know the lord has you you know you have nothing to worry about sometimes you have to encourage yourself that's faith right that's where the key of faith comes in and faith grows as you praise God, as you worship him, faith grows. And through those things, you are connected to God too. So as that happens, your faith, that key, you gain access to the key of faith, which is important in your walk and, and journey to where God is calling you to. My soul is downcast within me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of Jordan, the heights of Hermon from Mount Mizar. He's talking about remembering and recalling all the things, the good things, the things that God has brought him out of. Sometimes you need to do that. These are keys, right? That unlock certain things. And when God sees that you remember the things that he's done for you, and he sees that you have faith in him, that does something in the spirit. That's you spitting in Satan's face and saying, I don't care even though i'm in this situation and it looks like my soul is downcast even though i'm sad downcast means your soul is you're depressed or you're sad or you're down in the dumps even though you feel that way you're still gonna praise and you're still gonna worship god and still thank him because you still remember how good he is deep calls to deep god calls god who is deep in himself he's infinite he has an endless supply he is jehovah jireh he has an endless supply deep calls to deep and you don't know that within you, there is a deepness. There is some things that you don't know about that have not been unlocked. There is a deepness within you. The spirit in you is searching for those deep things. And God is calling to that part of you to come up so he can be able to minister to you and give you and show you, unlock those things to you. Deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls. All your waves and breakers have swept over me. By the day the Lord directs his love. At night his song is with me. A prayer prayer to the God of my life. And this is prayer, which is the other key. And this is his prayer. I say to God, 
my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? My bones suffer. I know some of us feel like this, right? You ask God, why is this happening to me? Why do I feel like my situation is causing me to be so miserable? My bones suffer mortal agony as my foes taunt me, saying to me all day long, where is your God? And that is the devil. The devil is always saying, where is your God? He's always saying to us and whispering it in our ear. Oh, I thought God said Jesus, that this is going to happen. I thought God said that this was going to happen for you. And then we begin to question God and we begin to ask that question. Oh, I thought God said this was supposed to happen at this time. Or I thought he this was supposed to happen at that time how come it's not happening where is god that begins from a thought from a whisper in the ear or a thought and that's the devil right because you're in a weak state that is why it's always important to be in the presence of god at those specific times when you're going through things like that it's always important to be connected and stay in god and just be connected to his word and be connected to him through prayer and this is what david is doing he's saying my foes taught me saying to me all day long where is your god but why my soul are you downcast why so disturbed within me put your hope in god he's encouraging himself again for i will yet praise him my savior and my god you see again because your soul is the part of you that emotes it's the part of you that gives emotion it's the part of you that feels so it's the part of you that the, the enemy is always looking to pick at which is why the enemies taunts you and does those things and, and causes you to question god he's always doing that so he says why am i soul he's speaking to his soul his flesh your soul is connected to your flesh he's speaking to his soul because his spirit for i will yet praise him his spirit because we are spirit first in the body for i the spirit that came from god will yet praise him my savior and my god so your spirit which is you makes you you animates this body is what you have to use you have to speak you know when they say look in the mirror and say to yourself you are fearfully and wonderfully made child of god you are beautiful you to speak those things over yourself because what that does is that causes uh god to be able to build a wall a fortress around you and your soul and your heart your heart your spiritual heart not the physical one but the spiritual heart that rests within the soul to protect you and your heart those words build that wall around there so the devil won't be able to penetrate with those that negativity and you will be able to continue to say the lord is my savior i rebuke that feeling of despair i rebuke that feeling of fear i rebuke that feeling of discouragement why because my god is with me and so that's it for this video you guys i hope this really encouraged you. Understand you have the keys in you. The keys are connected to God. When you connect to God, these keys can become unlocked. I want you to understand something. I want you to understand that you need to get into the spirit. Connect to God if you are not. I keep reiterating this because it's so important. I want you to understand that in this season, there's going to be many things that are going to happen that can happen for you. There's so many possibilities. There's so much locked on the inside of you that you do not know. And I need you to connect to me, says the Lord God. I need you to come into me. I need you to come into me. I need you to come into the secret place of the Most High. Dwell in me and with me and be with me there is no demon in hell that can come up and rise up against you there is no spirit of negativity that will be able to touch you let god help you to arise and shine because your glory has come let god help you as a matter of fact because you are already out of this do you know that you god has already gotten you out of the situation he's just waiting for you to make the connection to him because the door of your breakthrough is right in front of you all of these keys that i spoke about make one i want you to think of a whole bunch of keys melted and you melt them and that you melt them into one big powerful key that unlocks that's the holy spirit because within the holy spirit the holy spirit gives you the power the knowledge and the wisdom and access to everything you need i hope this video was helpful encouraging and if you have questions please ask if you need prayer, please ask. I love you guys so much. Stay blessed, encouraged, and I pray a prayer of protection and covering of your mind and your heart that God, you would 
build up a hedge around their soul and their heart that the enemy would not penetrate, Lord, if any of them are in any situations right now. I pray that you would give them peace of mind and clarity because you are not the God of confusion. You're not a God of confusion. So if the enemy is trying to confuse them, I ask that you arrest now that spirit of confusion, Holy Spirit, and cause it to flee and you will replace it with your peace and sound mind so that they will be able to clearly see and understand the things that you have for them and that you want to show them. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. I love you guys so much. I will see you in the next video.